Good morning. This is Brother Brad here on the creek bank on this beautiful Sunday morning. I hope everybody's blessed, highly favored. Uh, we'll get right into our study this morning. We we stu- we started uh, last week uh, on a on a study on the mysteries of God, and there's seven mysteries. We talked about it, and for in First Corinthians chapter four, uh, we we saw this that the Bible that Paul wrote that let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ. And stewards of the mysteries of God, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. And we, we talked about how we, we are stewards and we've been given a task to uh, by our master. Uh, and we've been given these uh, mysteries, these words of truth that, that we could uh, learn them and know them uh, and be able to... Uh, if nothing else, to pass them on to the next generation and to teach uh, the truth of of our, our uh, grace and, and these mysteries that uh, that God's give us. But I had a this thought before we get into the mysteries uh, about some things that weren't mysteries at this time. We, we find that uh, we know this, that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we see on the very first, in the very first words, we there's so much there. Uh, we see a, 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 an almighty God, a, a God that's able to, to create from nothing everything that we see today. And it didn't happen by accident. It didn't happen uh, over billions and billions of years. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't just uh, uh, evolve into what we have today, but God said, and, and God said, let there be light, and there was light, and, and God created the earth and the fish and the and the animals and and every living thing and and created man in his own image and and we know that and we can understand that he is god and and that everything's according to his purpose he's a, a almighty god he's a an a, a, a omni omniscient god he knows everything he knows the beginning from the end he 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 he, he knows what's going to happen tomorrow he knows what's going what happened uh, what will happen a hundred years from now. Uh, he knows everything this morning. He knows every thought that we have. He knows every uh, sin that we've committed. He knows uh, everything we've ever done. He, he knows everything, and, and he's in complete control. Can I tell you, God's not up in heaven this morning nervous about what's going on in this world. Uh, he didn't get nervous when he saw the hurricane coming on North Carolina. And let's pray for those in North Carolina. I, it breaks my heart to the to, to, to devastation that has come. And, and and we see what happened in Florida this week and uh, more devastation. And, and we see uh, these things coming to pass just as God said they were. Uh, he, he, he told us that in the last days, perilous times would come and, and that things would uh, that we would see famines and earthquake and pestilence and that all these things would come. We're seeing the things of God. He He knows, like I said, the beginning from the end, and and He is uh, He's all powerful this morning. He He's He's able to do uh, things that 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 can only be uh, explained by Him being God. How do you explain Him? Uh, uh, stopping the waters and separating the waters of the Red Sea so that those um, millions of people could walk through on dry land and then closing it upon the Egyptians and drowning them all. Uh, I, I'm, it, it's funny because we, we, so many, uh, the skeptics of this day and those that would try to cast doubt on God, and they, they want to say that, uh, oh, he, they, the, the, where they crossed was only three foot deep or only a foot deep. And it was a shadow place. They want to say it's a place of reeds or whatever it is, whatever they say, it don't matter because even if that were true, which it's not, but, but God drowned the whole, uh, army of Pharaoh in a foot of water. No, he drowned them in the Red Sea, just like the Bible says. And, uh, it's funny cause archeologists find stuff that backs up everything God said. Hey, there was a flood. Uh, that that God's wrath was poured out on this world, and and that He did uh, punish the whole world because they were had gotten so wicked, and we're living in a day and a time we're seeing the wickedness abound. Uh, I, I wonder what's keeping God. It's just His grace, and we see a God of grace this morning. That that He He that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, and I'm glad that uh, we found grace today. And 
and that he knows uh, where we are today. Uh, we could go on and on about these things that weren't mysteries, uh, his provision, uh, his his protection, how he how he uh, protected Israel from their enemies and and how he brought them into that land of promise. Hey, he's a God of promise. He, that land promised uh, uh, Abraham in Genesis 15. Hey, he promised that he would give them that land forever. And no matter how many men have tried to, how many countries have tried to destroy it and how long it's been. And, and even though we saw a time when it didn't even look like the nation of Israel even existed, in 1948, they they reestablished their uh, their sovereignty over that land, and 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 they became and hey, there's those and I've heard this argument that oh, those that are in Israel, those those Jews today are are not of Abraham's seed. Hey, and can I tell you, I believe it. They're most probably most of the government and most of the officials and and most of the people that you see in charge are not true Israel. Uh, but there, if there was one, if there was just one that still had that blood of Abraham, that, that DNA of Abraham in his body, that promise is to him. And I'm sure there's more than one. That there's, a, there's a few of those that are still there that are still uh, God's chosen people. And he does have a plan for them. And, and he will prepare them through the tribulation for the coming Messiah. Hey, there was a promise made. He was a God of promise. And he promised that land. He promised in Genesis 3 that there would be a redemption and, uh, and that, that one would come, that Messiah that the Israel looked for, for. And they're still looking for him, praise God. But but they missed him when he came the first time. But they won't miss him when he comes the second time because the second time he's not coming a uh, virgin born as a baby, but he's coming as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He's coming with power and with glory. And he'll set himself on the Mount of Olives and it'll split wide open. And he's going to sit on the throne of David and through that eastern gate. And he is God, and those things are not mysteries. We don't understand everything, but they weren't mysteries. They knew, and they knew that there was a God in heaven, and they knew his name was Jehovah, and they knew, and they understood, and, and, and they uh, were looking for that promise. Hey, can I tell you, uh, there were some things that aren't a mystery, and that God uh, is sovereign, and that he rules in the affairs of men, and rules in the kingdom of men. That every, nothing takes him by surprise, nothing nothing uh, confuses him, and, and nothing confuses him. Nothing's going to stop his great plan. And I'm just thankful that we serve a God that can be uh, that was uh, revealed to us through the Scripture. That's not a mystery, and, and and we can we can know for sure that He is God. We can know for sure that He is. And He said this. Uh, and all the people answered together and said, all, wait a minute, that's not the right verse. Ha <laughs> ha. But anyway, he said, I am the Lord. He is God this morning. And I'm glad that we can trust him and uh, know that he is faithful. Occupy till he comes. This is Brother Brad. God bless.